All right, it's a uh, another day and uh, another day on the uh, two heads or the uh, one head, whatever way. <laughs> I gotta get this one done. And uh, let's get started. Time to play with some play. is taking a measurement between the uh, two eye sockets. out well. And I just need the measurement for down to the eye socket. I know it's going to be hard to see most of the time because my hand gets in the way. But I don't have somebody personally taking video for me, so I'm sort of stuck with what I got. And so are you. <laughs> If I ever started making money on this channel, I could probably afford to hire somebody to come and take photograph or video. But then again, I think I kind of like the one-on-one uh, -on -one without anybody else here. Feels about right. Make sure I got the right distance between the two. Yeah. I got uh, both heads about done. I'm just uh, putting them up here next to the horse's uh, body to check how it looks. Doesn't look too bad. I got to decide whether I want to work on these heads now. I got a little fly that's just bugging the shit, shit out of me today. Little tiny thing. Little baby. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, I got to figure out where I'm going to work on this head. And I think I'm going to do it on uh, this stand that I built to do that with. So, let's go ahead and do that now. 
at least get it started. I just wanted to check to see how all this is working out. Let's try this head and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, I'm not going to show a lot of this because I do cover this on my instructional video on how to sculpt a horse. And uh, so I'm just going to get it started so you get an idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll cut the video and bring it back when I get it to a point where I think I can show you what I'm doing <laughs> or how it's turning out. Okay. I spent more damn time today trying to find one tool that I've misplaced and I can't find it anywhere. And it's driving me nuts. It's my favorite tool for sculpting and I can't find it. I'm always misplacing that one. And I've looked all over the studio. I've looked all over my tables. And I can't find it anywhere. And it's got me batty. Batty! Anyway, I'm going to get to busy here. i got plenty of other tools, but... I like that tool. I really, really do. I'm going to try to keep this rough, too. I don't want to have it perfect. <clears throat> this is the first time for me, so excuse me if I'm a little slow. Now, he's going to have his lip puckered, and so i got to put that pucker in his lip. He ain't kissing, but he's uh, either nervous or agitated, and so he's puckering. Starting to look like a horse's head, even if I'm not even close to being done with it.
All right, I'm going to have to call it a day. My camera's running out of battery power. And I've got to look around the studio for all the photographs I've got of horses' heads. And uh, so I can get the eyes and the eyebrows just right. I'm liking what's happening uh, with the uh, head so far. But uh, it's got to take a little more work. And I also want to get my bug spray so I can kill this damn fly. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great week, night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.